Hi everyone, it's Nat here. It is Friday book haul. I'm trying to tidy up my passage and I have been naughty and just been ditching boxes of books in the passage and not putting them away. So I thought I will pull them out of the boxes. We can have a look at them before I figure out whether I'm harvesting them very quickly or putting them in the bookcase. So we'll start with this one, The Ugly Duckling. This one is 77. I like ducks. There's a few cute pictures in this one. Pretty sure I've got this as a little gold book too, so it's nice to have a few extra pictures to put in. Nice size for journal cards. This one, quite like the cover on this. That's just something stuck to it. Yeah, so I might be able to get that off. It's quite beaten. Oh yeah, it had a dust cover stuck to it by the looks. I might try and do something with that sometime. Even just to practice with. Um, painting over it and try and make the embossing stand out a bit. Get some experience for when I find nice covers I want to do up. Um, I'll take these pages out as well because I like title pages. It's got beautiful colour to it. Might keep some of the pages as well. That one does not have a date. Not that it matters, it's very old. I don't think it's got pictures, no. No adverts in the back. Nice, I've probably got this just for that front cover and I'll grab the title page so that one will be harvested quickly. Time to ride, why'd I get this? Oh, it might be the box where like my son puts them aside for me. Sometimes I just ditch them in a box to bring home and sort out once I get here. Could use some of those old pictures, but we'll see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I love that. The old ad. So that one will be harvested as well. Same with this one, probably. It probably has some ads. Weak nerves ruin your life. Are you lucky? So yeah, I'll take those ads out. the title page. This one's the same. Get the old ads. Same with this one probably. Well, maybe not. Nice old pages though. There was this sewing for men and boys, a Simplicity's how-to book. You don't often come across the ones that were for men and boys, but it's got a lot of retro pictures. Might keep some of these for a tailoring journal, possibly, because they're quite nice, the colours in there. And then some of the other retro pictures might be good for clue booking. Oh, they're funny. I um, hate to say it, but I'm glad the blokes don't dress like that these days. <laughs> Some probably do, each to their own. Uh, baby cult. Beautiful pictures in this one. That's uh, a golden book. Looks like it's a first edition too. Pity it's all written on like this, 1988. But they're very, very nice pictures. Put that with my animal, in my animal section. Mother Goose, this looks like a golden book too. It's been all bent up. Eloise Wilkins. So it's going to have nice pictures. 1979. Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yeah, this is very sweet. Little Bo Peep. That's very nice. Love the pictures in that one. 
a Golden Exploring Earth book dinosaurs. 73. Great dinosaur pictures. My animal fun book. This is quite big, so I don't know if you'll be seeing it all. 1978. Again, just very cute pictures. I'm not really into that sort of thing, although you could fussy cut it and use it. I do love this parrot though, so you can chop certain aspects of the pages out to use. So I think I might put this one in my to be harvested pretty quickly. Well, I love the rabbit's pile. Just to get the bulk down. Whales and dolphins. Great for the ocean themed journals. Coming to bits. My first picture dictionary. Nineteen eighty two. These are great if you just want the word or you might want the uh, meaning. Make a little tag out of it and then you've got the pictures as well. So I love this sort of thing. Especially to make ephemera for um the little golden book journals and that sort of thing, which I must make some of. You know, I've already only made two of them and I collect all this stuff for them. I do have a pile here though, so something I want to concentrate on when I get time. It's a busy year this year, so it'll always be a busy year because I've got so much stuff here to use now. Great pictures. Another dinosaur one, question and answer encyclopedia series, the unreal world of dinosaurs. Oh yeah, is that, no, it is different. This one is 78. Cool pictures. Dial an animal. So it must have had a dial on there that you could turn. Instant guide to prehistoric animals. They must have been cleaning out the dinosaur section. Some nice sized pictures to cut out. My first picture word book. So we had the my first picture dictionary now i've got the my first picture word book 82 so this would be quite similar oh look at those shelves there's so much in these When we were young, two centuries of children's book illustration. This sounds good. It's got some really vintage ones there. William Blake, 1977. Got some great vintage illustrations. Well, that looks dark.
Matrix Potter. Be quite an interesting read, this one, I think. The Himalayas, the world's wild places. Oh, I must have taken this out of another book. You can stop smoking with the aid of a pal. So I probably grabbed this for blue book fodder for the backgrounds. Use. There was a log book, a vehicle log book, which had a car in it, which I thought was kind of cool. So I can use these as is in pockets or I can tea dye them. It'd be good in travel journals, that sort of thing. Um, Bethlehem Church. Centenary. I think I read that as a cemetery before. So I think this just had some vintage pictures that I might like to go through. Which is a bit glossy. So I might put this one in the two harvest pile. I love the church picture there. Just grab out what I wanted to use. There was this. I kind of like the box. Now, how did I open it? It's edgechurch.com. Yeah, it's kind of a cool box. So I might use that for ephemera storage. It's magnetized. Use this to open it up. I might have to cover that as a project. These things, glossy stuff. So probably ditch most of this and maybe reuse the cardboard on the covers. The paper here is really nice. I might be able to cut some bits out and back some tags and that with those. The spare some blanket pieces. So put those in the two harvest. It's another box, I think. The collection of 1994 Australian stamps. Oh, stamp album. It's probably, oh, I think there might be one or two, but not many in here, but I don't know if I'll use this box. Usually I keep these sort of boxes and um, stand paper and that up in them, but this one's not very thick. So we will see. That's a lovely stamp album. It's embossed, the alligator. So I'll keep this for some ephemera, probably. That's depending on which sort. It might be one you stick them in. Oh, lovely. Got some great pictures for glue books. Oh, I see. So it's just got the ease. I can reuse those. Something for ephemera. So I don't think there are stamps in this one, but... Pages are beautiful. That's a very interesting stamp album. Let's not harvest that one as well. This is Good King George's Glorious Rain. Look at it, it's totaled. Uh, dust cover that I liked the colours on. So it's got some uh, scrapbooking that someone's done. Killed 26th of August 1942, the Duke of Kent. So it's very old, some more scrapbooking in the back. So 
and a Mercury Special from 1963. It's a great old book. I'll put all of this away. I grabbed this Australian home cookery. It's a nice old one, this. Love that embossed cover as well. It's a lady taking something hot out of the oven. So it's got some handwritten recipes at the start of it. Dried apricot and date slice. Lasagna casserole. Now, if this is a recipe, ice cream. Oh no, it's a shopping list. <laughs> Don't think I need that. <laughs> Cocky feather. <laughs> Marinade for spare ribs. Yum. Does not seem to have a date to look it up. Marketing hints. Love the old pictures in these. Let's have a look in the back. Some more recipes. Christmas pudding. Cream puffs all yum. Lots of nice old recipes. Don't know if there are any colour plates. But very cool old recipes. There was this. Uh, I think it's Italian or something. Huge book, but great backgrounds for the glue booking again. It's a bit shiny. But I thought that would be a bit of fun to play around with. ones for backgrounds for some glue booking. Put that into my two harvest pile. Uh, I think this one I thought the same. Hawaii's beautiful islands. Gorgeous pictures. Could use them as journal pages and just fold them over. They're a good size for that. There was golden hands. I shouldn't grab these. I've got like a set or two of them um, in the other room. Oh, nice knitting card. So golden hands are your 70s, I think. Yeah, 70 to... Um, 70 to 72. And then it's got another lot of dates, 66 to 67. They are cool though, very retro. They've probably got some um, patterns and that that I wouldn't mind using sometime as well. Geography, I think I showed you this maybe. I don't know. Geography with rhyme and reason. This one's for 1947. It's quite old and it's got some cool pictures as well. There's 
It's this flower painting. 76. Just gorgeous pictures. And go, I see that everywhere. But I like flower paintings. I don't want to keep too many art books, but when they're florals and that, you can put them in your journals and they look quite nice. So. Might harvest that too. And these pages probably make good envelopes and that. There was this complete Australian gardener illustrated. Love the cover. These have great pictures in them. Don't have to be sixties, surely. It does not tell us. Fascination for these old gardening books. And we've got Johnny and Sophie at the seaside. Look at the pictures in that. Looks like this first page has been stuck down, which is unfortunate because I'd like to see who illustrated it. Back page has been stuck down as well, but they're just absolutely beautiful. So there were a whole lot of kids books. There was this little hamster. 1984, just beautiful pictures. So hard to see these got on the rubbish. You could just cut out single bits or use them as pages. <laughs> so cute. The writing is huge. was the Silly Ducks. It looks like these are all from the same series. I might have to do a set of journals. One from each one of these books. Very, very cute. Three Dizzy Ducklings. Silly ducks and dizzy ducks. Sounds like me, I'm a bit of a silly old duck. Let's learn about vehicles. of vehicles. The story of Hano Hanoverian, Hanoverian and modern Britain told in pictures. Over 650 illustrations. Oh my goodness, I was going to say they couldn't be in this little book, but they're the little ones. Not sure of the date of that one. But these pictures are great. Look at them. It's a very cool little book, that one. I 
my first book of fairy tales. Nineteen eighty eight. Great sized pictures. And they're really pretty as well. Storyland Classic Tales for Children. again. The Ladybird Book of London. I have a collection of these Ladybird books because I do really like the pictures. 1961. Pictures are great and the size of the pages are really good as well. And there was a set, A to L, L to Z, yep, of the standard English desk, di desk dictionary, which I definitely don't need. Got that many dictionaries, I have to do a bit of a cull of those. Um, but I find it hard not to grab the ones that have some illustrations in them. So these are 1976. And yeah, they have the little illustrations. So I might sit down with these one day and make some tags out of the pictures. Just to get the bulk down a bit. But they're also great covers. They're nice and wide. Nice solid wide ones to make journals out of. So yeah, I've got the two set of those as well. 